Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I've been to the Dollar Tree. So if you are a new subscriber, thank you so very much. And if you have not already subscribed, please consider and always like, share and comment and ring the notification bell. YouTube loves those for the algorithm. And I greatly appreciate anything you can do to keep this channel going because I absolutely love it. With that said, I'm going to show you some items because we're right here at the 4th of July window, just days away. And I hope everybody is getting ready for big parties and big fun. Hopefully there will be some fireworks and great food. If you need cheap, cheap decor for anything patriotic, USA, Americana, guys, the Dollar Tree has you covered. Even at $1.25, some of the things that I came across today were well worth it. So with that said, I'm gonna jump right in. I don't have anything really together. I'm just gonna tell you what I got because I got a really a deal that I, I never have seen this item in a Dollar Tree in the decades that I have shopped there. If they've had it, I've never seen it. I was blown away when I walked in. It was on a little um, a little shelf thing all by itself and it said a dollar twenty five and I said what? And I picked up. They only had three left and I picked up all three of them. Yes, I did, guys. They have humongous bags of charcoal. This is not those little dinky bags. <laughs> this thing is as tall. I mean, I'm putting it down here and it's still, I could go on down. This is 6.6 .6 pounds of charcoal. Now, do I know if it works or not? I have no idea. It seems like I've vaguely heard of this Cook's um, bar, uh, charcoal before, but don't hold me to that. It's lump charcoal. It's one over 100% natural. Hardwood lump charcoal burns hotter for a savory sear. Now, my son was quick to say to me, mom, this has hardwood chips in it. And I said, is that good or bad? And he says, no, that's actually good. He's interested in seeing how it'll taste. It's got little direct, you know, directions on it. This bag is humongous and it's heavy. And I bought three of them for $1.25 a piece. So three of them for what, what is that, $3.75? Um, guys, you can't even sometimes buy a good bag, a smaller bag, excuse me, for less than five bucks. So I got three 6.6 pound bags of charcoal don't know if we're going to use it all but we're going to try we're going to do some grilling and i know people who are going to be grilling and i'll find uses for it because this is the steal of the day a dollar 25 cooks charcoal now of course you're going to need some lighter fluid but that's all right it's right in time for the season getting the grill on blown away okay i also picked up the dog some little treats haven't been hauling many pet items lately, but I did find these femur bones. They're the pork ones um, by Nature's Corner. I'm trying not to rattle this too much. It's a single ingredient bone, six inches. Long story short, my son, we have an English Massive. She's humongous. So he bought her a bone. If you put these two together, it probably is even bigger than this together. And she's been chomping on it. And he gave the smaller puppy um, Homer, the one like this, and he's already devoured it. So every morning, Shirley pushes her big old bone, look the size of this, and pesters the small dog Homer, and he dares him to get by that bone, and they start a little ruckus like little like siblings do. So I saw these for a dollar twenty-five. I haven't been seeing them in a while, so I picked up several of them. Um, I'm gonna give him one tomorrow so he can gnaw on it um, and catch. Hopefully, Shirley get her bone done. And then I bought a couple of extras for the future because this is a treat. This is not something we give to them all the time. Um, for a dollar twenty-five, I think it's still a great deal for snacks for dogs. Check out your Dollar Tree for those. The only other food items that I got um, were I picked up this box of macaroni and cheese. Now my kids really like the um, shells and cheese, but this family size is Premier Pantry. Um, and I'm going to show you something in a minute when I show you the next things I got because they're just common things we buy all the time or I, I show all the time. Um, but this was different or new. I hadn't actually seen it. It's just a regular one, but it's the family size. And I thought this might be good to make for a side for, for the um, 4th of July uh, barbecue or something like that. And for $1.25, it, you know, simple ingredients, macaroni. I usually make um, homemade macaroni. I can still probably incorporate this in there and I might try it. I'm not, I'm thinking of that right now. Um, it says it's good, it's enlarged to show detail. It's 14.5 ounces, real cheese, premier pantry family size, and it is good until 
October 20th of 2023. So picked up a box of macaroni and cheese. Now this same brand, they had Hamburger Helper. Now I know you're thinking everybody has Hamburger Helper, but um, for $1.25, it's not too bad because Hamburger Helper has gone up in all the stores. Now my son happens to love Hamburger Helper. He actually only really cares for the cheeseburger one and the stroganoff one but I thought he would maybe be interested in the beef noodle. And he was like, I don't know, I'll taste it, but I already knew what that meant. But anyway, this brand here, the Premier Pantry, they also had the had the, the dinners with this name brand for $1.25, but when I saw that they had the actual Hamburger Helper brand, um, beef pasta and the cheeseburger macaroni and cheese, I picked them up. This, they're good So I think they were both good to the same day. This was May 20, May 24th of 2023. And this one is good till May 23rd of 2023. Okay. So they're in good date, good shelf life. Um, I don't care for it that much. My son sometimes asks me for it. So I said, let me go ahead and pick it up. I also picked up the macaroni and cheese because he asked for me to cook him some the other day. And I'm like, we don't have any of that. So just to keep the pantries you know, filled up for $1.25, I think it's still a great deal. All right, a couple of um, household items and I'm gonna jump right into the patriotic stuff that I found. Um, I did pick up this uh, one of these packs of this Angel Mine. Um, I think it's called Angel of Mine, yes. It's safety outlet plugs. There are, it doesn't, oh yeah, it does say, it's 12 pieces. Now this is probably, I'm sorry about the glare, it's probably not the best um, deal for 12 of these, but baby Zaire is walking, moving around. He's gonna, I mean, crawling, moving around. He's gonna be walking before I, before I know it. And I've gotta get these things. So I'm probably gonna go on Amazon and order a big set of all the different ones that you know locks the cabinets, put door things on there. I'm gonna get a baby gate because he's on the move. So I just got these for a temporary fix because he's already beelining to the outlets. And I thought these would be pretty good for $1.25 for 12 of them. And I need them. Guys, my mom actually said, Wendy, you need to go up to the Dollar Tree. They got those big old big old tissues. And I'm like, I got plenty of them. I bought a bunch of them um, already. And she says, well, these are the ones with the, they're 50% more. They're Scotties. And guys, look right there. There's 200 of them. This is a pretty thick um, box. And I said, you know, for $1.25, you never know. My allergies act up the summer with pollen. It doesn't matter. Ragweed, you name it, I can cough in a heartbeat. So I picked up several of these. The only designs they had was this, this kind of pretty kind of flowery print, but I also picked up this one, which is kind of like a, I don't know if they're like little, uh, I guess they're like honeysuckles or whatever, but guys, 200 for Scotty's, 202 ply facial tissues. I thought this is a good deal for $1.25. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of those just to have on hand because you, this is something I will always use. Okay, let's jump right on into the patriotic stuff. Guys, some of the stuff I had is a repeat buy for me because um, I just thought for $1.25, it's good and I'm gonna need it. Some of it I have hauled before in the past because you've seen it in other hauls in the last year, but it's still worth $1.25. And the first thing I wanna show you is this big, big, humongous bag. This has got United We Stand and it's by Juncture. I had bought one, it's over here, which I actually will be putting that one and this one. I actually, when I take all my little decor down for the season, I'll put them in these bags and I'll know where to find them. I'll go pick them up and bring them back up and I stuff them full every single year. So $1.25 for another big bag like this is awesome. I'm gonna open it up and show you just how big it is. If you, you know, on the fence, of buying them if you just want this to use for storage or just to have a big old bag to carry stuff in it is massive when i tell you it is so deep and i know i'm making a huge loud mess here but i want you to kind of get an idea of how big well maybe it's gonna give me trouble here but i'm trying to make a lot of noise but it is so big that everything that i show you today will um fit in here i mean it's just that massive I don't, I'm gonna see if it tells me the square feet of it, but can you see how humongous this is? It's deep, it's humongous, and it stretches out to put a lot of stuff in it. And I still don't even have it all the way up because I'm trying not to completely make this a disaster. But yeah, it's it's just it's just humongous. All that room. So definitely gonna be putting the things that I'm showing you in that bag and the other bag that I bought last year. Um, it just says reusable tote, woven, um, made in the USA. It does not give you, it says reusable. It does not give me dimensions, but it is massive. Okay, picked up that. I also, I think I, I hauled this before. I've got one already out in my yard. I, I got it earlier in the season, 
but I had to get to get another one because guys, this thing, when it flies, it is so cute. You can see it there already. I don't make you um, dizzy if you have dizzy problems, but this is by that outdoor fun. Um, and it's just got little things on here. It says America, the beautiful. Um, and I just thought this was so cute and appropriate for 4th of July. Um, I bought some humongous, um, and I'm going to try to do a short on it and put it out very soon before 4th of July or maybe on for the 4th of July. I bought at the Dollar Tree for a dollar back in the day when it was a dollar. The big, um, you know, USA um, 4th of July sticks that you stick in the yard. The yard sticks that I, if you bought at Party City, they'd be at least $19.99. Can't wait to get those out because I didn't make it last year. But I got those ready to put out in the yard and I am so excited. So I'll be putting this out with the other one I got out there at my shrubs to make it a little bit more patriotic. I also went ahead and picked up another flag kit. Now, I, I've bought these many, many times. They will, um, if you put them outside, they come with a little stand, um, a little plastic stand. And for $1.25, it's still a great deal. This is just as a flag kit. It's a 30 by 25, excuse me, 30.25 by 16.25 when the pole is 30 inches. And you do have to screw it together. There's little screws and all that. And if you put it outside, this material is not the greatest. I'll go ahead and say that, but it's a dollar 25. It lasts for a while. You can have it out there months and months and months, but when it's been so windy and, and crazy with bad weather that we've been having here in Georgia, um, they, it gets a little tattered. So I went ahead and picked up a fresh one for a dollar 25. This is a great steel, um, the little stand and everything. You don't have to go out there and mess with it. It can stick out outside, outside a door, you know, stoop or whatever you want to do. That's what I'm doing with mine. So I picked up one of those for that. Um, I did pick up some more de decorations just to put around the inside of the house. Um, this is just the tent tassel garland. What I liked about it is it has the flags and it breaks it up in between. Um, if we do, if I'm gonna, I said inside because I don't know if we're gonna do a, put the things outside like we did last year because we never know if it's gonna be raining because the forecast says rain, rain, rain. But regardless, it stretches out. It's a cheap thing to say, hey, it's the patriotic holiday um, for $1.25. When it's done, it's usually done. Um, this is kind of like the metallic-y kind of stuff, so it's not that paper. So it may last um, into the next season. I don't know if, if I'm still doing this next year, which I hope I am. You'll see if I, if I say, oh, this lasted me. Because sometimes I pull out things that I've had for five and 10 years and say, hey, I still have this. But all of this is stuff I did purchase recently. Um, here's another one. This one's a felt one. And when I saw it, I thought this, I, I don't remember seeing the felt ones. Um, this is a nine foot garland. It's just stars. It's the red, white, and blue. Um, and these are all by the Greenbrier Industries, of course. And yeah, it got some stars and I can't wait to put those up. I just like the way that effect is. I thought that would be cute to put up as well. And one last banner that I got was the flag banner. And that, this has the different ones on it. It's got the stars, the stripes, red, white, and blue. Um, this one is also nine feet and I'm gonna be putting them in different places throughout the house. For $1.25, I still think you can't go wrong with that if you're trying to do a little bit of decorations. So I did pull out something in my very first haul I did um, almost a year ago. July is going to mark a year of my one-year um, YouTube adventure and journey. Um, and I picked up um, another one of these inflatable coolers. And when I saw them last year, I said, look at that. That is just too cute. And you blow it up and, you know, you put your little drinks in there. And guys, if you don't remember, or if you want to check back on my very first video ever, it was a hot mess. This is what the, um, the inflatable look like. And it's awesome. It's deep. I mean, I'm telling you, we fill this up with ice and you can put anything in there. You can put beers if you're into that. You can put sodas, water bottles. You don't have to put anything in it. You can just put it in there and put some little, um, I had some patriotic, um, I don't have them. They're little ice cube things that we stuck in there one time just for decor. But this right here is $1.25. I got this one for $1 back in the day. But I just wanted to show you how things that you pick up, if you, you know, preserve it and put it up, you know, in a storage, you can pull it out again. And if you're like me and like to party and like to put on parties and like to decor just for the point of it on the cheap, that's how we roll. Um, I did pick up a couple of, um, you know, things to decorate for the table. 
they have these humongous, and this one here I like because it's the whole tablecloth. You know, some of them you open up and it's only the end pieces. This one right here is the whole entire tablecloth. It's the red, white, and blue. I picked up several of these to put up. Guys, I also can tell you something that I do, and I'm sorry for that glare. This right here is a 54 by 54 inch by 108 inches. Now this is a rectangle one, but they have them in different styles. You can get them in um, circle, rect or oval. Um, you can actually, if you're trying to do like a basement room and you want it to really, you know, shine, you can t actually put these on the walls. Now, I'm, I'm not telling you to mess up your walls. You can use tape. You can, you know, use those, those, um, that stick stuff, that sticky stuff that comes on and off that doesn't mess up your walls. Sometimes you can staple on your walls. I don't know what, pin them up or whatever, but you can do, get five or six of these and do a whole room. And when you walk in it, everybody's like, wow, this really is different. I learned that a long time ago. If you just need a quick pick me up for a room or for any theme, it doesn't have to be patriotic. You can hang up these um, cheap throwaway dollar twenty-five um, tablecloths, and it will rock the whole room. So I picked up a couple of these for our tables, and I did get this massive, huge bag of red, white, and blue flag um, napkins. This is fifty. Three ply guys for a dollar twenty-five. Look at that, and this is thick. And I thought that's all I got to do. I don't. I get some paper towels and this one set. I'm not buying anymore. I'm one and done. A dollar twenty-five. They're twelve by twelve, twelve by seven eight inches by twelve three fourths inches. And there's fifty of them. And it says it's ma a product uh, made in the USA. Um, and I was gonna see if it had a name. Um, another fine product from Special Thoughts. Special thoughts. Never heard of that, but I don't care. It's massive. It's right on time for the holiday, and I love it. Also, doing a lot of desserts, a lot of cupcakes, a lot of little things like that. They have these cupcake um, kits. These have 24 um, little picks in them that look like little flags. How cute is that? They also had some that look like stars. Of course, it's distributed by the Greenberg Industries, um, but I only picked up the ones with the flags, and I'll be putting them, and I'm so sorry for the rattling. I'll be putting these in um, for cupcakes, and there's 24 bake, well, there's 24 picks in the diameter. is two inches per piece, per flag. Okay, I got another little thing for Baby Zaire. I picked up an American flag kite. This kid loves kite flying. He can't do anything with it to sit there and stare, but he will stare and watch it. He loves it. It mesmerized him for hours. Um, this is a fun kid. It does say eight and up, but he's just sitting you know, in his little car seat or, or being held watching it. It's 23 inches by 21.5 inches. Yeah, it has the little string on there. If you don't know how to do it, we got plenty of wind to bring it along. I just hope it won't be raining and I can pull this out on 4th of July and spend some time with the baby. And of course, not but not least but last, this is the last couple items that I have in this patriotic kind of 4th of July haul. I had to bring back out the little solar lights. I got this one here that's got the, the cute little glass here and you know, I got the little pool here and these right here for $1.25 are still great. I pick up two or three of them every single year and I just add them to my collection. I think I have uh, this kind of, I think this is like, I have six of these total. Now these, um, these get faded a lot. I'm not gonna lie, the ones with a star on it. Um, I'm, I think I probably have about 10 of these. And when it's 4th of July that night, I make sure they're all out. I don't keep them out all year long because I have different, if you're watching my hauls, I have different types of these and I just keep a few of them. But when it's 4th of July and sometimes Labor Day and on Memorial Day, I'll stick a bunch of these out and they look so awesome at night, especially when you're out there watching the fireworks. This one right here is probably my favorite. I love it. You know, you take out the little things, stick it in there um, and charge them up and they are perfect. Guys, check out the Dollar Tree um, for any kind of patriotic um, 4th of July stuff. And I didn't even really pick up a lot of things because I have so much that has, you know, could be reused. They're all, it's all around my kitchen right now. I put up everything last night and I was like, well, what am I going to show? Am I going to get anything? And, and I made a trip today and I picked up some more items and I'm like just totally blown away. And with that said, I hope everybody has a safe 4th of July. Um, again, if you have not subscribed, please consider it. Be safe. And until the next one, take care and happy 4th of July. And until the next one, take care.